Hey Verbling, so today we're going to have an introduction class. So if you're new to Verbling and new to English, this is a great class for you. We're going to be discussing look, and we're going to be using a worksheet um, that I've uploaded to our class. So you can take a look at it, and please download it, because we're going to be working with it. So if I go to screen share, you can take a look, and you can see it right now. Okay, uh, so it's um, about luck, and we have some pre-reading questions, so we're going to have a small discussion, all right, um, and then we have vocabulary. So once again, if you're new to Verbling and new to English, um, this is a great class because we're going to be um, taking it slow, um, as well as just working on simple sentences and uh, work on vocabulary, and then we have a short paragraph to read, so we can work on the vocabulary again and work on our comprehension. And you'll see that we have questions here about what they said in the paragraph, um, and we can work on vocabulary. Okay, all right, and then we have some more discussion questions. So it's a pretty um, nice structure for class. So if you're a little shy to speak in the beginning, maybe at the end, after we've gone over some vocabulary, um, and you'll feel more comfortable to share. Okay. Uh, so welcome, guys, to class. Um, and so if you guys are having problems downloading the document, I'm going to show you how to do it now. Okay. Um, so I just need to go to Verbling. Okay. And I'll show you that on screen share. All right. So for everyone that's new to Verbling, when you go to our web page, we're going to go to live classes, so like this class. And I think there's two others playing right now. You can see the class description All right, from my class. And we have to go to class material, and we have to download Luck. OK. So if you guys can all get this document, that would be great. Okay. All right. So welcome to class, everyone. All right. So why don't we do some introductions? Um, I'm Laura. I'm your teacher. And I'm from the United States, but I live in France. And I've been on Verbling uh, since November, uh, when they launched their teaching um, side or teaching aspect of their website. Okay, uh, So why don't we start with Alexandra. So tell me um, where you're from or where you're living um, and how long you've been on Verbling. Okay. Uh, I'm from Poland uh, and I learned English a uh, long time but uh, I, um, I don't have uh, too much time to practice, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm. Uh, I speak uh, no, uh, no, no, good. Okay, so you want to practice speaking. So this yes. will be a great class for you. Yes, right? I think so. And Ali Alhamed, where are you from? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm from Syria. From Syria. And how long yes. have you been on Verbling? I think it's been two weeks. Two weeks. All right. Yes. Well, welcome. Thank you. And you can Nihi. Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, can you correct me on my pronunciation and tell me where you're from? Okay. All right. What about Nyung Pham? Where are you from, and how long have you been on Verbling? Oh, so your Hello. mic is muted, so you just have to unmute yourself. You can find it at the top. So see, I muted you, and you have to unmute yourself at the top, so I can show you guys. Can um, you hear me? Hello? Yes, perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Nhung. I'm, my name is Nhung. I'm from Vietnam. 
Vietnam. Do you know? Yes, Vietnam. Okay. Uh, I have been uh, uh, learning English very long time, but I can't speak well. Okay. Because uh, when I am um, uh, talking with uh, foreign people, I am feel nervous and uh, um, my my face yeah, get uh, uh, when red and I mm. forgot anything. Yeah. So I definitely understand. Um, so you guys want to speak more, and that's great. And that's what we're going to be working on in class today. All right. Yeah. So nice to meet you. And we can go back to New Guinea. <laughs> Sorry, it's really difficult to say. Um, I think you fixed your mic. Where are you from? Hello? Okay. Hi. Uh, uh, I'm from Italy. All right. And how long have you been on Verbling? Uh, sorry, but I I don't understand. <laughs> um, I, I speak very bad the English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone thinks they speak poorly. Don't worry, guys. We'll work on it. <laughs> all right. So, all right. And Luna, where are you from? And how long have you been? Hey, hi, I'm from Spain. You're from Spain. And how long have you been on Verbling? Uh, today is my first uh, time. My okay. Room. All right. Well, what we doing? <laughs> welcome, guys. All right. So it looks like we have new students. So I just want to welcome everyone. And this is a beginner class, so don't worry. We're going to take it slow. If you don't understand, feel free to just say, you can call me Laura. Some students call me teacher, and you can just ask me to repeat or to explain, all right? So yeah. first things, we're going to take a look at the document. Was everyone able to find this document? The luck document? Did anyone have any problems finding it? I'll post the link. Hello. 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 Uh, I just said ah. the microphone. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Nghe. I'm from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. I love Vietnam. I'm um, IT, IT, uh, IT manager. I uh, I just uh, new uh, webbling to. to Two weeks ago, and I went to join and uh, to practice to um, speaking and um, how to roll nails and it is work correctly. So um, thank, thank, thank so much. All right, great. Yes. So yeah, <laughs> welcome to Verbling. Uh, yes. Um. So that's cool. We have two students from Vietnam. So. I like getting people from all over the world. It's always great. All right, so make sure you're on this web page, the Luck PDF, okay? And we're going to take a look at um, the first questions. All right, so we're here, pre-reading warm-up questions. Um, so number one, are you a lucky person? And why do you think you are or are not lucky? All right. So, I'll see if I can zoom in <clears throat> to make it bigger for you guys. So, number one, are you a lucky person? What do you guys think? So, this is personal. Um, and so, I can give you an example, and I'll write it in chat. All right, so, I am not a lucky person. All right? Um... Um, and that's because if something bad is going to happen, it will happen to me. If the train has an accident, I'm usually on that train, <laughs> okay? If the bus breaks down, I'm on that bus. <laughs> um, if there's a problem at the airport, I'm the person who waits three days 
to get another plane. <laughs> okay, so I have horrible luck. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, one of my friends just recently told me she's never met someone as unlucky as me. All right. So try and give examples. So tell me why you think you're lucky, or tell me why you think you are unlucky. Okay. Anyone want to try and go first at all? So, are you lucky or unlucky? And do you know what those words mean? Yes. Okay. All right. So why don't we start with you, Nui? Nui? Wrong. Sorry, I'm saying your name wrong. In the red shirt from Vietnam. Uh, are you lucky or unlucky? What do you think? Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I am uh, unlucky. And why are you lucky? Because um, many things I want, uh, but I am... Um, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, so you think you're lucky because many good things happen to you? So I can mm. write it in chat. You said many things. So what did you want to say? Many good things? Um, many, uh, I think I, I unlucky. Unlucky. Not lucky, yes. Uh, because many things I want uh, to risk, but uh, it happened not. It happened uh, not I I I want. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? I completely understand. So I am unlucky yeah. because many things happen uh, not the way I want. So you said that very well. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so you, that was all you. You already said it. All right. So what about Vincenzo? Are you unlucky or unlucky? Excuse me. Anyone else want to go at all and share? Me. Okay, great. Yes, I'm not a lucky person. I think that, uh, for example, every uh, every time before any exam, I get very sick. Oh no! Always. I'm so yes. Very sick, like a uh, cold, like sneezing. No, worse. No, worse. Worse. Okay. Yes. Uh, for the, in my high school, you know, before the final exam. I, I know this bad disease, and I didn't uh, get the major I wanted in college. Oh no! I'm sorry. So you yes. got very sick for exams, and in the end, yes. you had to get a different major because you were always yes. sick. That is very unlucky. Oh. I would agree. Yes. Any, sorry, anything else you wanted to add? Hello? Yes. So. Yes, I wanted to, uh, to talk <laughs> at least though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are you a lucky or unlucky person? I am a, a lucky person because um, I think that um, when I have a trouble about um, money, example, Mm -hmm. uh, assemble the money for um, uh, why hire why uh, when I uh, hiring a boarding house and um, is it lucky that uh, there's uh, my uh, my parent or my friend will help me uh, for for pay the the, the, the boarding house and uh, another example when I have um, have examination at school. Mm -hmm. I uh, I have a difficult question, but uh, 
looking I, I can uh, I, I still have another idea to complete my question and of course the, my result is a good result I feel that uh, there is someone who uh, help me yes so you're lucky in a different sense <laughs> you have good friends and family who will help yes. you out when things are difficult good yes. Especially when I have a problem or trouble, trouble or problem, I I feel that uh, will have a person to help me. Yes, mm -hmm. that's great. You have yes. um, you can say uh, you have a great support system, which means friends and family are always there for you. Yes. Yes. What about Alexandra? I know you wanted to practice speaking. So are you a lucky or unlucky person? Uh, I'm very lucky person. Very lucky person. And why is that? Because I always see advantages uh, uh, of um, everything what uh, happened. Mm -hmm. um, even some uh, even. Uh, is something wrong always uh, uh, could be uh, happen something good ah okay you're definitely what we call an optimist all right yes. <laughs> so you're someone who sees the good even in the bad things so like yes. you said if something bad happens something good will come of it um, and that's a saying so I'll yes. write this in chat for us Yes. Good. Right. Something bad happens, something good will come of it. Great response. See, you guys aren't so bad at speaking after all. All right. Uh, anyone else want to share if they are lucky or unlucky at all? Okay. So then I just want to take a look at question number four. Um, so I'll go to screen share here. Okay. In question number four is what is the luckiest thing that could happen to you? Okay. <clears throat> so what is the luckiest thing that could happen to you? Um, so I can give an example. Um, I think the luckiest thing that could happen to me would be winning the lottery because then I could pay off my student loans for college um, and I could buy a car um, and that would be very useful. <laughs> I would no longer be poor so that would be great. Winning the lottery. All right. Anyone else? What do you think would be the luckiest thing to happen? So we have a new student, and I can't read your name because it's not in English. Uh, so what would be the luckiest thing to happen to you? I've clicked on your picture so you can see yourself. Um. <laughs> yes? Uh. Uh, okay, so unfortunately your connection isn't working, so um, we'll just give it a minute and maybe you'll come back into class. Okay. Um, what about Alfonso, MG? What is the luckiest thing that could happen to you? So do you guys understand the question, or is it a little difficult? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll move on to vocabulary. Okay. All right. And so we're going to do match the words on the left with the meanings on the right. Okay. All right. 
Uh, so what's an excuse? Does anyone know? We're going to... Okay, great. So what is an excuse? What letter is the definition? Any ideas? Mm. Excuse. Excuse means uh, the reason uh, you do something wrong. Okay. Um, and so, what letter is that? What letter is excuse? B. Can you repeat? D. D. A reason to help yes. others accept something. Except. So yeah. One D. All right. What about two? What is a slot machine? A slot machine. It's a game machine, I think. Yeah. And what do you do with a slot machine? You put uh, some coin and uh, mm -hmm. then you you get to uh, yeah exactly. So what letter uh, would that yes. be? I think I. Exactly. So two is I. Okay. And so we're just looking at the vocab now, but uh, when we read the paragraph, we'll see the words used in sentences. Okay. So we're just doing the list right now, but we can use the words in, once we finish this exercise. What is to land in one's lap? Um, so if you win the lottery, money lands in your lap. What does that mean? Oops, sorry, can you repeat? We lose your connection a to little bit. To become true. I'm sorry. To become true. Um, mm. Kind of. It's kind of close to that idea. That's not the answer. So it's to receive without effort. Exactly. To receive without effort. Yes. If it lands in your lap, you are super lucky. Right. Good job. What about attract? to attract something. I think to get its attention. Can, can you repeat? I think to, to get its attention. Okay. And which one would that be? What letter? It doesn't use the word attract, so it's not C. Yes. So what one should it be? If you attract something, it kind of comes your way. Um, so magnets attract one another. Or, um, oh, okay. Then, then it's A. A, exactly. So bees mm. are attracted to flowers. Yeah. A. Good job. Uh, what about visualize? So if I visualize my dream, what am I doing? I think you're picturing it to picture something. Yeah. See it in your mind. Mm -hmm. yes. So letter J. All right. So five yes. is letter J. Okay. What about uh, materialize? If something materializes, it comes out of thin air. It appears. Become real or true? Exactly. Number six. Good job. Uh, is What letter was that? F? Awesome. And number seven. What is a shadow? We see a lot of shadows when the sun is out. Yes, it's G. A patch of darkness that results yes. from light is blocked. Yeah. So seven 
All right. What about draw? Um, so we have a few meanings of this. Yeah. To draw is to take a, a pencil and draw a picture of a tree. But you can also draw something um, out of a box. Um, and it's usually, this one's kind of weird. It's, um, it's number E. Oh. So uh, if you're in a draw, you're in a contest. Oh. Okay. So contest, and I'll write that down. Oops. I'm in all capital letters. Okay. okay. Uh, what about odds? What's an odd? Chances. If you have good odds. Yeah, exactly. So odds are chances. So nine is C. And then we have one more, ten. What's a lucky charm? So some people have rabbit's uh, feet that they rub for good luck. Oh. So, and that's the lucky charm. See, Let's see. Yeah. An object that is supposed to attract good fortune. All right. So um, in my culture, it's pretty common. Um, so it's pretty common to have um, a rabbit's foot, um, and you can rub it for good luck. Hello? Um, so what are some lucky charms in your countries? Hello, welcome to class, Shilpi. Hi. So my question is, what are... Good, how are you? So what are lucky charms in your countries? What are the lucky charms in our country? Uh, there are so, so many lucky what? charms like Taj Mahal. Actually, I'd like to uh, talk. Okay. Um, sorry, Shilpi, I can't understand you. Your connection's breaking up a lot. Um, so just give it a minute and maybe it will work itself out. Or try to get closer to your internet because um, you're coming in and out. Um, so I gave an example of a lucky charm in my country. So I want to know in your countries, what is a lucky charm? Do people carry coins? Uh, is it a piece of clothing? What do you think is lucky? Do you have anything in your country that's considered lucky? All right. Anything? in your country that is considered lucky. So for us in the US, it's lucky to carry a rabbit's foot. Okay? It's lucky uh, to carry a rabbit's foot. Alright? So anyone want to share? Is there anything in your country that's considered lucky? A lucky charm? Okay. Uh, so what about Ali, Al Ahmed? Yes. Is there anything considered lucky in, you're from Syria, right? No, I think uh, well, something is old tradition, like, uh, you know, uh, blue uh, hand to just uh, to defend uh, envy when you get it to defend envy. Okay, so it depends, under, but you, you said something mm -hmm. about yes. the color blue. Is yes, blue a lucky color? Blue. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So blue is a lucky color. Awesome. All right. What about some other students? Do you have anything that's considered lucky in your country? We have a few students. 
So <laughs> if you guys want to share, that's great as well. Okay. Uh, lucky charms are something like feng shui objects. I mean uh, feng shui subject to attract uh, luck or happiness or success. Um, can you just repeat? Because I am um, sorry I had to mute you, Nguyen. Um, sometimes there's a bad connection and it, it's kind of loud. So can you just repeat, Doi? Yes. Uh -huh. Doi? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, lucky charms are something like feng shui objects. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, feng shui object is uh, one of um, lucky charms, one of kind of lucky charms. Okay, so a feng shui and object. Yeah, I, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so um, I yeah, I see uh, a lot of people in my country using uh, feng shui objects to attract luck or success. And uh, happiness. Uh, let me show you, show you something. Okay. And where are you from? I'd love to see yeah. what you're I'm talking from Vietnam. about. I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. All right. Yeah. Oh. All right. And so we have two other students from Vietnam. Is it the same in your area? Are there certain objects um, that are considered lucky? Yeah, I, I can send you a link. This is uh, one of my lucky charms in my country. Uh, can you post it to class chat? Group chat? Yeah. I have posted awesome. it. Can okay. you see Maybe it? Maybe I cannot. No, I think we I may be having a few problems technically today. But that's... Yeah. It may come up in a minute. And we'll see. Right. Anyone else? Is there anything considered lucky in your country? I think. Sh okay. What about Daniel? Is there anything lucky in your country? An object that is considered lucky? Hello, Laura. Hello. How are you? Hello. Pretty good. How are you? I am fine, thank you. What's the meaning of lucky? Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, so lucky. Maybe that's why we've been having a uh, little problem here. So lucky, it's to increase our chances um, to have a good fortune. Uh. Okay, so lucky is um, you have great chances. So if something is going to go, if something is going to happen, it's going to be positive. You have great chances. You always have a positive outcome for things in your life. So. Uh. I, I understand. Uh, in my country, I uh, it's typical to to use uh, a, um, an an object of a figure a figure uh, of what? Uh, how, uh, I don't know how I, how I say figura in, in English. Uh, can you describe it? Fiora? Mm -hmm. Or or the use a dictionary translator? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, figure. Figure in English. Fear or finger? Fear. Fear. Okay. All right. Interesting. 
Figures and uh, like, like San Patricio. Do you know this? This end? No. Mm -mm. I don't. It's, no. it's to to have have a uh, when you, for example, uh, take take the lottery. Okay. So it seems like we're having a lot of connection problems, or maybe it's me. I can't hear or understand everyone. It's not your fault. It's um the um when it comes to me, it sounds like it's very garbled. All right. So what we're going to do is just move on. Um, it's no one's fault. This is just uh my internet. I think. No doubt. Mm -hmm. What 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 is uh, uh, um, like in your country, like? Mm -hmm. Um. So, mm -hmm. good question. Um. So it's lucky for us to carry a foot of a rabbit. Okay. Foot. All right. So uh, we're. Uh, Put to the rabbit. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're going to move on to the um, next part of the worksheet, and I've posted the link. And we're going to read this paragraph. Luck. Does it land in your lap? Do I have a volunteer to read the paragraph? Me. Okay. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, lucky people are often in the right place at the right time. This is the excuse they give everyone wants to know their true secret to success. You know someone like this, don't you? He wins money in, in slot machines, free holidays, land in her lap. When Miss Perfect meets Mr. Right, of the bus stop, you can't help but wish you had her luck. Is it possible that some people attract good fortune? This theory is called the law of attraction. According to the law of attraction, good things happen to positive people. The trick is to visualize dreams coming true before they materialize. The law of attraction theory works in the opposite way too. In other words, bad luck follows negative people like a shadow. For example, negative people remind themselves they are not going to win as they enter a draw. People who play the lottery despite the odds of winning. Are, you, are your chances of winning higher if you Visualize yourself as a millionaire. Perhaps all you need is lucky charm in your pocket. Mm -hmm. All right. So we see that they use the vocabulary here. All right. So what are they telling us in this paragraph? What are they telling us um, about the difference between lucky and unlucky people? What is the difference? Do lucky people think differently than unlucky people? What do they tell us? Uh, I think lucky people are always uh, confident in themselves, in themselves, mm -hmm. and yeah, and they always see everything in a positive way. Exactly. So our pos um, our lucky people are positive thinkers who have confidence. Good. I I think it, mm -hmm. uh, too because I think that the person uh, who have the more lucky uh, they they think in in positive things mm -hmm. than the unlucky people. So just to correct one mistake, um, people who are 
or a person who is lucky. So we say is lucky or are lucky, right? But good. People who are. Mm -hmm. So you use the verb to be. Good. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so it's all about um, thinking and what word do they use that begins with a V? It's the visualize. Yeah, so they're, I'll go back over here. So these people, these positive people, they visualize their dreams coming true and then they materialize. Mm -hmm. So they imagine their dreams coming true and then they do come true. All right, so just enforcing that idea of positive thinking. All right, um, okay, so we're going to go over some of um, the comprehension questions on the next page. And the first one, so what excuse do some people give for their luck? So if we take a look back, what excuse do people give for being lucky? What do they tell us? They say they're lucky because they were in the right place at the right time. Exactly. So they're not lucky. They just they were just in the right place at the right time. Yes. Good. What example of luck landing in one's lap is given? So what example do they use for landing in the lap? They tell us something falls in someone's lap. And what is that something? So I'm going to highlight a section so you guys know where to look. And so landing in one's lap, remember, is to be just given to someone. So what is just given to someone? Free holidays. Yeah, so uh, landing in one's lap, a free vacation. That would be wonderful. <laughs> a yes. free vacation. So that's an example of something landing in your lap. Um, maybe if you go to your work party and you win the thousand dollar prize it landed in your lap. You were very lucky. You received it without doing any work and spending any money. Okay. Uh, Alright, and we already discussed number three, which is positive thinking. Uh, it is a law of attraction. Yeah, perfect. So, the theory is the law of attraction. And do you want to explain that? Just to get some practice speaking, do you want to tell us again what the law of attraction is? Uh, let me think. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something like uh, luck when we come to uh, people who uh, who are. Uh, who are confident. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Great answer. All right. Um, all right. And, okay, number five. What do some people carry to attract luck? Luck charms. Yep, they carry lucky charms. And we had a discussion about what lucky charms we carry in our own country. All right. So if we look at the next exercise, vocabulary review. All right. I'm going to try and make it a little bigger. All right. Um, we have the words here on the side. Excuse, visualize, shadow, draw, odds, lucky charm, and materialize. We need to take those words and put them into the right spaces, okay? So I'm going to assign each of you a number. Okay, so Ali, can you do number one? Um, Bow Wow 
Bu, number two. Nguyen Pham, number three. Samir Suleiman, number four. And Toy, number five. So each student in class gets a number to do. Okay? Yes. Okay. All right. And so I'll give you guys a minute or two. And um, Ali, just let me know when you're ready because we will start with you. Okay? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, you're ready. All right. Yes. Perfect. So can you read it for us with the answer inside? Yes. I, uh, the answer is shadow. Okay. Uh, so read the complete sentence, please. Oh, yes. Bad luck okay. surrendered the grumpy man like a dark shadow. Perfect. Uh, Bow Wow Boo, do you have number two? Um, so can anyone do number two for us? At all? And so this can be anyone in class. Right. So we'll skip number two and we. Uh, oh, Nguyen, we can't hear you. Just unmute your mic. You have to make sure that you unmute yourself. And then we can hear you. Number two, it is a lucky charm. Yeah, can you read the whole sentence for us? Yes, uh, Milan's lucky charm was a teeny photo of his grandmother. Perfect. All right. Ah, and we, you got it to work, so we can hopefully hear you now. Dwayne. Can you do your number three for us? If you blank yourself on stage, your dreams may come true. Okay. So we can hear you. Wing? Hear me? Yes. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, number four, number five. Number three. Number three. Three. Oh, I, I can, you can let me see. Number three, if you... Excuse. Mm-hmm. No? Excuse. Yeah. Excuse. Okay, so it's not excuse. Can anyone help me? Okay. Visualize. No. May I? Visualize. Visualize. And what was the definition of visualize so we can help him out because he's new to class? What was the definition of visualize? The image of something in my Yeah, the, the image of something in your mind or mind's eye. Yeah. Perfect. Samir, can you do number four for us? We turned the plan for the new car, but we didn't win. Yeah, we entered the draw for the new car, but we didn't win. Perfect. And Toy, uh, number five? Yes. Um, I make up for promising mm -hmm. the party. Yeah, I made up an excuse for missing the party. Perfect, guys. All right. Um, okay, so this one is, um, where does the additional word belong in the sentence? Okay. So, um, number one, I'm such a lucky A person. Oh, wait, what? I always be. I always. Win. One. I need to see what they're doing. Ah. Uh. Well, I don't understand this exercise. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to discussion questions. Maybe. I, yeah, I, I think we should uh, put the word slot machine 
in A R B or C O D. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so don't look at the answers. <laughs> All right. So, which one does it belong in? A slot machine. That's exactly it. Thank you, guys. D. You said D? 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 Yes. Slot machines. I'm such a lucky... Yes. No. First, uh, I always win money and slot machine. Ah, okay. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sometimes I don't see how it's supposed to be done. Perfect, guys. All right, what about number two? Number two is me. Is B. Your dreams will not materialize unless you truly believe that they will come true. Good. What about number three? Anyone want to read the sentence um, completely with the answer? Yes. Okay. So we had two what responses. That's mm -hmm. what odds. Close. It's very close. Does anyone know what it should be? Oh, what are the odds of, mm -hmm. what are the odds, yes. Yeah. So what are the odds of winning a million dollars in the in a lottery? So number B. Good. What about number four? Anyone want to try it? Uh, so why don't we try number five? Any ideas for number five? Mm -hmm. H -R C. For yeah. which number? Uh, number five. Number five. C. Can you read the sentence for us with the answer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we lost you. Okay, yeah. Yes. So I think her connection went out a little bit. That's okay. So according to the law of attraction, positive uh, people attract, attract positive people. people. Good. And what about number four? Can we get that answer before class ends? I don't think so. No. All right. So knowing Brian's bad luck, a new car will land in his lap within a matter oh. of days. So number C, letter C, sorry. All right. All right. So good job, guys. All right. And this was a really great beginner class. Um, so do you guys have any questions for the last couple yeah. of minutes? Yes, I have a question. Okay. It's outside of the class. Uh, what's the meaning of high maintenance? What's the meaning of high maintenance when you describe somebody as a high maintenance? High maintenance. Um, if someone is high maintenance, um, they're kind of yes. difficult. Yes. They want um, they want the best, um, and they need to be provided for. So if you're high yeah. maintenance, you know a high maintenance female, you always have to have your cell phone and your nails done and a nice meal but you don't like to cook. Things like that. So high maintenance. Um, mm -hmm. I'll get up. Is it close to uptight? No, it's a little bit different. So uptight is kind of um, is tense. So uptight is tense or anxious. Uh, my chat's no longer working, so I can't post. I'm sorry about that. Um, so uptight is tense, and high maintenance is um, you want everything to come easily to you. You want to be taken care of. Okay. Okay, right. thank you. Great questions. Good. So I'm going to end.